So you already had an episode of Easy Takes Questions, um, but I think that Scooter was feeling a little bit left out, so today we have an episode of Scooter Has Views. Okay, so we just did an activity that starts with a W, so um, she'll probably be pretty chill for this whole time. Okay, um, and what she has views about, what do you have views about, little girl, hey? Yeah, so she has views about the paralogisms. Okay, so she has views about the potential uses of the I think and inferences that we might make about the soul and its nature. Okay. Uh, and these questions mainly have to do with how we experience ourselves as an object of thinking. Okay, so as an object that thinks. How do we actually experience ourselves as an object? Uh, and what Kant's main criticism is of rational psychology is he thinks that people try to infer too much. Okay. So when we think of what we can get of the proposition, I think, so this will accompany all of our judgments. So anything that you want to judge, you can say, I think, right? I think that Scooter has really good, soft ears. I think she has perfect ears, right? So I can say, I think that, and that accompanies my judgment. Um, but then what do I get to infer, right? What do I get to infer about myself? Not about Scooter, but about me, okay? From the idea that I think that she has perfect, soft ears. Uh, not much, okay? So uh, in my experience of myself as an object of thinking, right, I experience myself as a subject. So I am a subject. It is going to be, you know, it is going to be me that is thinking. But uh, do I, can, can I get from that the idea that I am a substance, okay? That I am a substance that persists over time, that persists eternally, so something like a kind of mental substance. Okay, so thinking back to some of the cogito arguments for dualism, um, we get from the I think, so that I think is in, I think is indispensable, uh, the body seems to be dispensable, we get this argument that the soul is a particular kind of substance. And uh, as far as Scooter is concerned, right Scooter, um, you just can't do that. You just, you're just not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to make that kind of argument um, because the I, it doesn't tell you enough about what the I think is, okay? So it doesn't actually tell you what the thinking subject is in and of itself. So just because I experience myself as a subject persisting over time doesn't mean that I, as an object, am a substance, okay? So as an object in the world, this doesn't mean that I am a substance, okay? Uh, similarly, you know, I experience myself as single, right? Are we single, Scooter? You're single too. Okay, I'm keeping her up. Okay, that's okay. She's got to work. We got to work hard from home. Okay, yeah, you're working hard. Good job. Okay. So again, I experience myself as a single subject okay, over time. Um, but this doesn't tell me anything about what this subject is as an object. Okay, so... What am I really as I am in myself? Well, we just don't get to know that, right? But I do get to know that how, I do get to know how I experience myself, okay? So I experience myself as uh, persisting over time. I experience myself as a subject, but none of that gets to tell me what I am as an object. So the subject-object distinction is really crucial for understanding um, what's going on in these paralogisms. Thanks, Peter.